and WHB, Stephen St. John and Abu Katie in studio, and an old friend, former Chiefs wide receiver Eddie Kennison. Eddie, what's going on, man? How you doing? My old buddies. That's right. Doing yeah, awesome, man. man. How have you guys been? Being, you know, we've been really good. Really good. Life is awesome, isn't it? It is, especially when I get a chance to work with a guy like that every day. Uh-huh. How about him? <laughs> he pointed right past me to Jake, didn't he? <laughs> well, now, well, I come in, and the first thing I see is the uh, the gray in Nate's head, so that tells me that, you know, the little one is growing up. He's walking yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, doing some good things. So uh, I just cover mine up because my wife is a beautician. We just color mine. That's right. I color, I color my beer with uh, just for a minute because it looks so natural. I feel like you, you guys, it does look natural on you because you have, like, black hair, you know, mm-hmm. and I think it looks natural on you. But for me, like, I, I, I tried it one time. I did. Can we dye your hair? Can, no. Will you let me do it? No, I, don't, I don't. Just say yes. Just let me do it one time and see. And we're all, let's, just, let's try it. Be what color bold. are you going to dye? I don't know. Whatever you want. We'll go pick. There's like ten different colors. I think I'll brush just it go in and, and shampoo it, it out. Going, so I'm just going to age gracefully. Jake, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you help me? Yeah, you can so bring him over to me. the school and yeah, you can you can have fun, let's bro. Go we to have the plenty of colors. And do something. <laughs> Experiment. Plenty of now, now, Eddie, you are. Uh, I, yeah, I I do the public address for all the Kansas City Command home games at Sprint Center. By the way, the next game is Thursday, March 29th at 7:30. Gets the Arizona Rattlers. Why don't you go to kccommand.com for more information? But uh, you are working with the command now this year, too, as well, right? Oh, absolutely, brother. And, uh, you know, I'm so excited about it because it gives me an opportunity uh, to get back into the game, uh, do a little front office stuff, have the opportunity to, to get with the players, get with the coaches, and, and just get back into the arena uh, and, and, and love the game and be around the game that I love so much. Yeah, you're like me. Anytime you can get around football, it doesn't matter. Oh. It, it makes you feel better, doesn't it? Oh, it. I mean, you just because you're part of that environment, and you know, I've been a part of that environment my entire life. So to get back into it, uh, I'm pretty, uh, pretty geeked about it. And I invite people to come out again. It's a great uh, game day atmosphere. The kids love it. My kids love it. It's a tremendous action. The next game, Thursday, March 29th, against the Arizona Rattlers. Uh, kickoff 7:30. You can get your tickets uh, at the Sprint Center box office. But just for all the information you need, and you can buy tickets, just go to kccommand.com for information on the schedule and all the latest news, kccommand.com. Now, we got some talking to do <laughs> about a few things. Now, yesterday was uh, big news because of what Roger Goodell uh, laid down on the New Orleans Saints. Their head coach, Sean Payton, suspended for the year, no pay. Mickey Loomis, the GM, suspended for eight games. Assistant coach Joe Vitt suspended for six games. They fined the team $500,000, uh, took, took away two second-round draft picks. And then Greg Williams, who's now with the – well, he was with the Rams, he suspended indefinitely, all because of the bounty program that was discovered by the NFL. So when you hear about all this and you hear about a program where it's $1,000 or $1,500 for targeting players and getting them carted off and getting them hurt, you surprised or being in the NFL as long as you were, is this something that you've heard about plenty of times before? I've heard about it plenty of times before. Um, there were there were times just as wide receivers where we would just sit in a meeting and say, you know, whoever gets a decleater this game or get two decleaters, there's a thousand bucks on the line. That doesn't mean that we were going out and to, to hurt anybody, but you know, those those type of things uh, happen all the time in the meetings. And I think the penalty that was put on these coaches and players is because of they didn't they didn't come right out and tell uh, Commissioner Godell the truth right off the bat. I think if they would have came out and said, OK, this is what's happening. All of this would not be the issue that it is. They lied. They misled the NFL when they conducted the investigation. That's what Roger Goodell is uh, so angry about besides the actual bounty program. Right. And, you know, could I could I get in trouble with uh, my former peers and the guys that are playing right now? Possibly. But that's what went on. I mean, it wasn't anything malicious. It wasn't any money uh, that was put on a table that will affect the guy, his living status. I, nobody can pay me a thousand bucks to take care of my family for the rest of their life. Those are just little fun things that we did to help each other compete better at a, you know, uh, as a, as a group and, and get out and, and have fun playing the game. And I don't think uh, any of the coaches in the new Orleans Saints staff, any of the players, did anything that, that would maliciously take a guy out, take his career away from him. Those are just things to uh, to pump guys up and have a little bit more exciting in the meeting room. Okay, what you're talking about is one thing, you know, a decleater. That's that's a block that puts somebody 
you know, knocks them off their feet and puts them on their backside. Okay, that's part of the game. Uh, but we've had people tell on this radio station, former players tell stories about bounties f- uh, for putting a guy on a cart. You get extra money if you injure him so bad that they got to cart him off the field. Mm-hmm. Now, as a former player, do you have a problem with that? I mean, that's to me, that's different than, okay, you get some extra money for a pancake block as opposed to you get extra money if you put that guy on a cart and they have to take mm-hmm. him off the field. Well, I mean, to me, guys are paid. You think you take a defensive guy, guys are paid the big bucks to separate the guy from the ball. Now, is that worded different than put the guy on the cart? Yes, it's worded different. Does it mean the same? I think so. Uh, because guys are being paid the big dollars to make big plays, make big hits. Uh, that's just the nature of the game. It's a warrior mentality game. Go out, separate the guy from the ball, hit the other guy as hard as you can hit him, and move on to the next play. Whether you hurt the guy or not, that's that depends on how the, the lick was taken, how you fell on the guy. I mean, you you play into all of those things. The game itself, to me, is a bounty. It's a warrior mentality game. Go out and take the next guy out. Hit him as hard as you can hit him. Separate him from the ball. Now, you said, like, say, in, in wide receiver meetings, you guys would just, between yourselves, competitively put up money and say, okay, for anyone that gets a decree, you get $1,000 or, or, or whatever the uh, reward was. What about coaches? Did you ever experience coaches having something like that where if you get a big hit or if you put a guy out or if, if any of this happens – I'm going to reward you with this because this is what we're talking about. Coaches actually doing this. Uh, I've never heard it personally from a coach. Never had a coach tell me that. Uh, it was all uh, receivers. Uh, but if you guys can remember back, I don't know what year it was, 2003, 2004, where Coach Vermeil was caught telling Morton Anderson that he would give him a bottle of wine if he made a field goal. Well, the league made a big deal about it that they would find Coach Vermeil. <laughs> You know, a uh, hundred thousand dollars if he had given Morton Anderson that bottle of wine because it, it it cost against the cap and all of that fun stuff. So uh, that that isn't a bounty, but uh, that goes to show you you know how serious the National Football League is uh, about those type of things. Uh, but I personally, to answer your question, I personally never heard it from a coach. Did, did you hear about it as f- from as far you know just a buzz around the league or in the locker room that you thought that? an opposing defense or a certain team was taking shots at you, trying to take you out of a game, and and maybe you heard that there was a bounty on you or that's the way a team operated because obviously other teams felt like this uh, you know, about the Saints. And I've heard people complain about the Denver Broncos offensive linemen Mm -hmm. and their chop blocks and maybe going after people's knees. Did you ever have that uh, or did you ever hear that about an opposing defense? Um, Well, I'll, I'll bring you back to 2001 when I left Denver and came into Kansas City. Uh, John Mobley, their linebacker at the mm-hmm. time, had made a statement about that uh, they were going to try to take me out. And uh, the National Football League make, made a big deal about that. Well, they had representatives come to that game here in Arrowhead because of the statements that John Mobley made. And if I remember correctly, uh, they also made some statements that if there were anything that was malicious uh, done uh, on behalf of Broncos towards Eddie Kennison, that there would be uh, severe consequences. So uh, I do remember that, and I have had actions taken that way towards me. Hmm. Well, we're going to look forward to talking. We're going to talk to you throughout the command season. You're going to stop by every now and again and talk with us whenever you can. Absolutely. I know you're a busy man. But now what else are you going to be doing with the command? Like I said, I'll be seeing you at the game. So what, what else are you going to be doing? Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be there uh, after the game uh, signing autographs. Uh, I'll be at practices, you know, uh, uh, giving hopefully giving some uh, some tips to the the players whether it doesn't matter what position it is like a consultant I get it yeah like consultant and you know helping the coaches out with whatever they want and uh, you know coming on radio talking about the games you know uh, talking about uh, you know the fans that were there and things that had actually happened during the course of the game so it ought to be pretty fun okay we'll be looking forward to talking command football with you throughout the season yeah thanks guys I appreciate it that's Eddie Kennison and again the next game if you want to go see the command the next game at Sprint Center. Is going to be Thursday, March 29th, and kickoff at 7.30. The Command have a game coming up uh, tomorrow night on the road against Cleveland. That's at 6.30. But next home game, 7.30, Arizona at Sprint Center. Go to kccommand.com for more information. Everyone have a great day right here on Sports Radio 810 WHP.